हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस न्यू सीरीज ऑफ पल्स विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द पल्स बट बिफोर दैट वी हैव टू नो वट इज़ पल्स रेट वट इज़ हार्ट रेट एंड वट इज़ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो सो प्लीज़ वॉच दैट वीडियो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद दिस सीरीज सो द देर आर सेवन मेन करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द पल्स अमंग विच द रेट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट रेट and the rate of the pulse in simple terms it is the number of times you are feeling the pulse per minute and it is mainly governed by the sa node present in the heart and why sa node there are mainly three electrical fibers that are present within the heart that is the sa node av node and the purkinje among them the sa node has the maximum rate of discharge so it is the one which is governing the rate if the sa node get damaged next in line is av node it will take the command and it will be the uh, governing the rate whereas if the sa node or uh, if the av node also get damaged in that case the purkinje fibers will take over so the rate is mainly governed by the sa node and the sa node is mainly controlled by the autonomic nervous system that is the sympathetic nervous system which increases the rate of discharge whereas the parasympathetic nervous system decreases the rate of discharge and normally the rate is 60 to 100 per minute if the rate is more than 100 it is known as tachycardia whereas if the rate is less than 60 it is known as bradycardia so now we'll be discussing what is the clinical significance why are we discussing so much about rate what is the clinical significance how does the mechanics change if the heart rate is increasing or decreasing so the main effect of increase or decrease in heart rate is the decrease in cardiac output like what happens is if the heart rate increases initially the cardiac output will increase but as the heart rate increases further the number of systoles per minute is increasing so the time for diastole is decrease so heart gets left less time to fill the blood so what will happen is the cardiac output will decrease similarly in bradycardia as the heart rate is decreased the amount pumped uh, per minute will be decreased and the cardiac output will decrease so the patient can come with dizziness and syncope and also whenever there is a change in the heart rate the patient might become aware of his own uh, heartbeat which is known as palpitation so due to change in rate either the patient can come with palpitation or it he can come with dizziness or we can come with direct syncope so this is the clinical significance now we will know what can be the different causes of tachycardia and what can be the different causes of bradycardia so first we'll be discussing about tachycardia uh, tachycardia is when the rate is more than 100 and it can occur either due to the sa node ra rate discharge is increasing or if there is any ectopic present within the heart which has discharged it more than sa node in that case that ectopic will be uh, deciding the rate so it can also lead to tachycardia so if the tachycardia is occurring due to increased sa node discharge it is known as sinus tachycardia whereas if there is uh, tachycardia due to abnormal ectopic then there are different names depending on where the ectopic is okay so now the sinus tachycardia can occur either if there is increased stimulation of the parasympathetic nervous system or there is decreased uh, parasympathetic nervous system activity the decreased parasympathetic nervous system activity can occur due to atropine poisoning and the increased sympathetic nervous system activity can occur either directly like in physiological conditions like fever exercise stress or anxiety where we need increased cardiac output or it can occur in pathologies like in case of pheochromocytoma where increased epinephrine nor epinephrine within the blood leads to increased stimulation of the beta 1 receptors or it can occur due to thyrotoxicosis in which increased thyroxine increase the sensitivity of the beta 1 receptors or it can occur in case of cushing syndrome where again increased cortisol along with increased cortisol there is increased production of the norepinephrine and epinephrine or the sympathetic nervous system activation can occur due to reflex stimulation like there are baroreceptors and the chemoreceptors present within the body whenever the baroreceptors gets activated like in case of hypotension or the chemoreceptors get activated like in case of hypoxia in both this case sympathetic nervous system activity will increase and it will lead to tachycardia so these are the causes of sinus tachycardia whereas due to ectopics if the ectopics are within the atria it can lead to atrial tachycardia atrial flutter or atrial fibrillation depending on the rate if the ectopic is near the av node forming a avrt or avnrt then it will lead to psvt and whereas if the ectopic is within the ventricle it can lead to ventricular tachycardia ventricular flutter or ventricular fibrillation so these are the causes of tachycardia now bradycardia 
bradycardia can occur either if the SNO discharge decreases or if the SNO is completely destroyed because if the SNO will get completely destroyed in that case the AV node will be taking the charge or also if both SNO and AV node get damaged in that case the uh, ventricle will be producing its own discharge in that case also the bradycardia will occur and the decreased SNO discharge can occur due to increased parasympathetic stimulation which is known as sinus bradycardia and it can occur in physiological conditions like hypothermia or can occur in athletes and it can occur in pathological conditions like due to stimulation of the oculocardial reflex can occur in vasovagal syncope can occur due to increased acetylcholine discharge in organophosphate poisoning or can occur in Cushing reflex what is Cushing reflex if there is increased ICT within the brain due to any cause like can be due to meningitis or hemorrhage what happens is let's say this is the brain this box is the brain these are the blood vessels perfusing the brain and this is the surrounding intracranial tension so if the intracranial tension increases the fluid uh, coming out of the capillaries dec decreases because there there is increased pressure outside though the pressure difference decreases so what happens is the brain perfusion decreases in that case to increase this brain brain perfusion what happens is the uh, vasoconstriction of the vessels occur such that more hydrostatic pressure occurs and more blood can go out so due to increase ICT increased blood pressure occurs and due to this increased blood pressure now the baroreceptors get activated and the heart rate decreases so that's uh, the triad of Cushing reflex in which due to raised ICT there is hypertension plus bradycardia and also one more thing is there is irregular breathing present which is due to increased ICT compressing the respiratory center of the medulla so these are the causes in which there will be bradycardia present then one important thing that you need to know is the relative bradycardia we have discussed that due to uh, due to fever there can be physiological tachycardia present where uh, and it is such that with increase in each one degree temperature the heart rate decreases by 10 beats per minute so if there is no increase in the heart rate with temperature or if the increase in less than 10 beats per minute then we state it as relative bradycardia that is relative to increase in fever there is not even increase in uh, heart rate and this is known as faggot size and it can be present in uh, some infections like salmonella typhi for it is uh, for which it is uh, characteristic and it can be present in coxella legionella brucella and can also be found in factitious and fraudulent fever so this is the discussion on rate